them all season long. That's one of the most interesting storylines that we have in the finals. Bringing the ball down to Vader. I'll discuss that on my piece of the game. Derman misfires. Egilos with the offensive rebound. Jamo escapes the defense of Balti. Well, this is the first big man that Balti Baltasar is to play post and is composed when he makes his move. Well, Jamo Egilos, after all, is a champion already when he played with Batangas. And he reached the finals last year with Zamboanga. But he just got scored on by Balti. Well, you did mention when you first saw the teams today, suddenly the mighty Bacor City strikers looked small height-wise against Pampanga as MJ Garcia scores. Aside from that mix, all of the Pampanga players are experiencing the MPBL Finals for the first time. They are definitely hungry. Nice feed, Bahio to JLC. Well, we know this Pampanga team can is much faster. Dermal meeting Balti. Dermal with the extension and the miss. The presence of Balti Baltasar making everybody go away from the basket. There we see point guard Balti Baltasar bringing that ball down. Nice feed as well. I didn't know see Coach Alex Angeles. Coach Boyd is one of our coaches in the MPBL for Pasig City in particular. As Egilos passes the ball to Marquis, back to Jamo, almost traveled, he scores. Well, that's what you need to do. Jamo Aquilas is one of those types of big men who play. One years old is our reigning defensive player of the year. Oh, ho, ho. a nice escape, but a sorry miss for Aquilas. Forward pass, signature Pampanga. Two points for Archie. Well, you see, while Jamo Aquilas is playing down low. JB, Bahio looking up against Marquis. Bahio drives. Bahio almost lost his footing. He still scores. This see, that's his shot. Off to the left, offensive rebound. They go to Archie, his three-pointer is good! Four now. NJ Garcia working with Balti. Garcia, Balti. Oh, ho, ho. a three-pointer for Balti Baltazar. Well, very deceiving talaga, no? Pise, screened by Mike Cagnete. Nine on the shot clock. Mismatch for Mike. There's the double team. Ludovice for three. That's a good look. Probably the first three. The Bacoor City Strikers. Well, Una, I put it down. Every point counts. Everybody has heard that. Every point counts. But I'll put a twist to this. Force, focus on boxing out. Never mind that you don't get the rebound. Wag lang ma... I, I never saw anyone in the previous games of Pampanga overplay the guy. And when So far, we have three offensive rebounds for Pampanga. And overall rebounding, there's a plus four for the Giant Lanterns. As Joel Lee Yu just made a bucket for the strikers. Well, in the floor. Lee Yu goes to Ludovice, who drives and scores. Well, this unit right now, no? Coming off the bench, napakaganda pinapakita for score as well. It's out 21 to 14. Kurt Trayson will fire. Welcome back to the MPBL. And these are the things that are very important for ng Pampanga. Every every miss of Bacoor, they run 9-0 fast break points. It has a first quarter mix. And to Serrano for his fifth as he penetrated. Go Louis Gonzalez. Their ball with a kick out. Mark Gee picks. The 41-year-old leading in and scoring. Great move. He's keeping himself there, but Jan Mal had the itong si Balti Baltasar and opted to pass. Balti going left, laying that ball up with his right hand. Yun nga nababanggit ko once. Should understand how important it is to be brotherly to each other. We're in kaya mo nang amoyin, but there we go. It's Kurt Grayson making his second three-pointer in this game. Ang dahil pwedeng pwede tayong umasa sa isa't isa. Makes sense, Coach Davey? In terms of three-point shooting, as Archie scores inside, Pacor is only at 2 out of 11 from downtown so far. That's 18% in this game. And points in the paint, it's being dominated by Pampanga, 18 to 8. Oh nga, and that's the reason why they have this lead. Aside from the fast break points, everybody forcing, forced to run down on defense. And then they take those outside shots. But it's not a priority for Pampanga. Forced, and here comes Jim Boy Pasturan. Nermal drives, and he got fouled. I'm surprised the foul was called. It's a subok at kompletong appliance brand of Pilipinas. Second one is good for Jack. Let's see his free throw shooting. Good. 
yung kamudyan mo makikita yung versatility ng mga players. Everybody can run and jump. What a feed. JLC finding JV Bahio. Rebound to MJ. After 22 seconds. Virtually no more shot clock. Rayson will fire. Bombs away. What proceeded to go down low. Four seconds here. Heruta goes to Egilos. Jamo has to fire. Egilos made oh! the basket. That's going to count. And there was a foul as well. A blocking foul committed by Kurt Grayson. Pampanga, you need to close that up even more. By the way, that dates back to the statement of Coach Alex Angeles in our press conference that they would want to limit the scoring in this game. Our press conference has happened inside the bodega kitchen and bar, by the way. He's two out of five from the strike so far, but more importantly, that was the first field goal. Bakoor has numbers. Jan Nermal, no basket, Egilos will score. At dahil daw sa excitement na ito, nawawala ang patience when it comes to execution. Let's see if the strikers can address this. Bigs and Coach Ravy. MJ Garcia just scored off of a turnover. Tingin natin yung mga miscues natin, iwasan natin yung mga bad decisions. They really have to play as a team. Kurt Grayson with his third three-pointer in the game. Kurt Grayson. 42-33, Egilos will fire. That's good. Easy jumper there, Jamo Egilos. Okay, Jamo Egilos, once he's defending Bauti. There's the kick out, Rayson. Three-pointer! Kurt, two-man game. Rayson fakes, Rayson drives and feeds. Liwan, one-hander is good. First two points, but here we see three dark jerseys quick to be back on defense. Tito Jaime, offensive rebound. He's been trying to be the spark plug for Bahor City. Jaime is now up to eight points. And Daniel Viloria, Cuecote has been shut down so far in this game. Can he come alive? The answer is still no. Egilos turns around, then he gets the bounce. See that quick move, very simple. 12 points for Jamo Egilos. JB Bahio's cut under his left eye was a bit deep and it took a while before they could stop the flow of the blood, but he's fine now, just resting. Now on a lighter note, after everything, may konting kwento lang ako tungkol kay... Defensive rebound. Wow. Encho works with Balti. Serrano down the middle. No basket. Another board. And the putback for Balti. And there you see, boxing out is important. Box out, no need decisions. And this is the time when you really need composure. But how do you get that? Maybe by losing this game on the first, on their first attempt here sa, NBA, sa MPBL Finals, they would change come second game because, or play badly. And by the lose. way, come Tuesday, they will have known already how it is to play with the crowd of Pampanga. There you go. And they need a couple of threes, and John Ramal just hasn't been hitting, and so is James Quekote, but this guy continues to do yeah. damage. Kurt Grayson. What a return. We can actually prepare for Kurt Grayson because he, he's been absent from the previous games ng Pampanga, so hindi ang hirap pag-aralan talaga. Aguilos will score on the other end. By the way, Kurt Grayson is now six out of seven from the field. But they else put on him, he tries to score, but free throw woes continue to haunt him tonight. Finally, the first bucket for James Wekute in this game. Contact, he just attacked that run. Jan Ermal, blocked by Bahio. What a play by JB. The other end we go. Well, Rayson is now at the line. You see his shooting, very efficient. To the extent that I'm going to It was yeah, I, figuratively speaking. I know. 156. Under a minute remaining in game one. John Nermal drives and scores. I like what John Nermal is doing. He's just building up his confidence for game. Ana kung kakain sila, imbitahin din tayo. All right. Ito na, Coach JD, the hero of the night. There we see. Kurt Rayson. Kurt Rayson. So in this game, Kurt Rayson was able to deliver mightily from the bench. 22 points, 
six out of eight from the field, a perfect four out of four from downtown, and perfect from the stripe as well, six out of six. To be welcomed back to the MPBL.